Welcome to the tutorial, Annotating Participants' Behavior with the SMI Annotations Tool. An annotation marks a specific moment of your experiment for detailed scientific analysis. With the Annotation Tools in SMI Experiment Suite, you can set annotations when designing the experiment, while the experiment is running, or during post-experiment analysis. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at annotating participants' behavior during the experiment. More specifically, you'll learn in the design phase how to use the annotation editor to predefine annotations. You'll also see how, while recording, you can set the predefined annotations and create a new annotation. And finally, I'll show you how to analyze your annotations in BGaze. We'll start in Experiment Center. As you can see, I have an experiment previously defined, which includes opening text and a web stimuli. Let's say I want to set up annotations for my experiment. I'll select the Annotation Editor, which can be found in the Extras menu. Use the Annotation Editor to create anticipated annotations that you can trigger during the experiment as needed. I'll click into the Add New Definition area to begin. First, I'll enter a name to identify the annotation. It's quite common for a participant to ask questions or talk to the operator at some point during the experiment, so I'll name this one Speak. Now, I can enter a brief description if I like. And then, I choose the type of annotation. There are two main types of annotations, Instant and Interval. Instant annotations mark instantaneous events, such as the participant sneezing, while interval annotations mark longer-lasting occurrences, like our speak annotation. In this tutorial, we'll be using Manual On-Off for the speak annotation. Manual On-Off is used to toggle an annotation and set an interval. Choose it once to begin the interval, and again to end it. Choosing this type sets the duration to manual on-off as well. Optionally, you can add tags to your annotations. I'll skip the tags for now. Let's add another annotation. Again, I'll click in the Add New Definition field. A new ID and color are created. Let me switch the color to red, and then enter a name Sneeze. I'll skip the description this time and choose the Instant type. Again, I'll skip the tag, and now I'm ready to click OK and store my annotations. Now that I have a couple of annotations defined, I'm ready to save and run my experiment. In the experiment phase, you can apply predefined definitions or insert new ones on the fly to handle unexpected circumstances. Let's say that the participant asks the operator a question. The operator can insert the predefined annotation by pressing 0, and then choosing the desired annotation from the annotations dialog that appears. I'll choose Speak and press Enter. Because this is a manual on-off type annotation, when the participant returns to the experiment, I'll press 0 again. The red dot indicates an annotation that requires user feedback. I'll click it once to toggle it off. Now let's insert a previously undefined annotation, say when the participant accidentally clicks the Back button on the browser. To add a new annotation, click 0 again and, in the Annotations dialog, enter a unique name into the search field. Press Enter and a new annotation is defined and added right away. The annotation start time is noted the instant you press 0. You can only create instant, not interval, annotations on the fly. Once annotations are recorded during an experiment, they can be incorporated into your analysis of the data in BGaze. Annotations are available through all data views except line graph. For an example, let's take a look at annotations in ScanPath. Annotations are noted in the timeline. With your timeline cursor at the beginning, you can go to the first annotation by pressing Shift 
right arrow. The first annotation is an interval type, displayed as a green line. Press the same keyboard combination, shift right arrow, once more to go to the next annotation marker. This is the instant annotation we added on the fly, back button. Hover over the annotation marker to view its details, including the name. Press shift left arrow to jump to the previous annotation marker. Specific annotation data is displayed in the event statistics view by selecting the annotation details option. As you can see, the first annotation listed, Speak, has different start and end times since it is a manual on-off type annotation. The second annotation, Back button, however, is an instant type annotation, and the start and end times are the same. Annotations can be edited in BGAYS if you need to adjust the timing, wording, or other properties. We'll show you how in another tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned how to mark participants' behavior with the SMI annotation tool, working with annotations predefined in Experiment Center as well as created on the fly during the experiment itself. Finally, you saw an example of how data from annotations can be accessed in BGAYS. Annotations in the SMI Experiment Suite provide a robust solution for marking and analyzing participants' behavior during eye-tracking experiments.